At times of rough going in the stock market, investors need to know how to be on the defense. Dan Deming, a KKM Financial, is here to help. Dan, what are some safe havens that investors turn to in turbulent times? Well, one interesting thing that's happened this year, Angie, that really is uh, something that the market hasn't had to contend with since pre-08 is interest rates and the increasing environment that we find ourselves in. And now, for the first time in basically 15 plus years, there is some real return in uh, just uh, cash or fixed income type of vehicles like treasury notes and things of that nature. And that's something that uh, is competing for allocations now because you're looking at yields somewhere in the four and a half to five percent range. And that's compelling to some people. And it just hasn't been the case prior to 2023. So that's something that I think that needs to be considered. We look for safe haven type of avenues or allocations, as well as, you know, some of the defensive areas also play a part in this. And we have not necessarily performed great this year, but historically you can look at utilities as well as consumer staples of other areas as to uh, look for allocating uh, some less high beta type exposure to the market that is viewed as a defensive type of positioning. Also, silver, gold, the dollar can be considered safe havens. What do you think when you see money rushing into those assets? Well, an interesting dynamic, Angie, when you look at the price action in defensive areas like gold and then silver for that matter, as well as the U.S. dollar, those are two other areas or asset classes that use, are used as defensive type of positioning. Thank you, Dan. All right. Thanks for having me, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.